Hey Cinephiles, welcome to another exciting edition of Instant Trailer Review. Today we're talking about Interstellar. And what an interstellar it is. Mm -hmm. That line made more sense in my head. <laughs> um, Christopher Nolan's new movie, yes. obviously very exciting. Uh, it's very interesting to be able to do a trailer review for the last movie ever to be shot on film, apparently. That's yeah. what you know, everyone's up in arms about on the internet. Right. Um, Looks very exciting. Looks it is. suitably big. So let's jump. And, and right I into saw it on the big screen last night before Godzilla, which is how they premiered this. And I highly recommend seeing it as big as you can this weekend. McConaughey must seem gigantic oh, on yeah. the big screen. He's never been bigger. Um, now they mention it's an Indian drone in this, which huh. makes me think. Like, what are, what are the politics of this movie going to be? Because it's, it's one of those, you know, like, in the far future, America, the mm -hmm. foremost power on Earth, is super poor, and India sending drones <laughs> into Indiana. It's, uh, you know, it's one of those, like, all right, uh, this is the way we, we make ourselves the underdogs yeah. in the future. Um, also, it, it must be middle America because they're driving through a cornfield. That's true. Oh. Okay. All right, a little so the, Ma the reconnaissance from, is going to uh, continue. Yeah. Um, this is really exciting that like he's going to lead a sci-fi movie like this. Yeah, you know, then again, uh, you know, uh, science fiction movie of ideas. Hopefully, this can measure up to Contact, a movie yeah. that uh, McConaughey was in before the McConaughey's began. While we're looking at this Paramount logo, mm -hmm. let's let's just uh, reminisce about this really quickly because this film used to be in Spielberg's lap. Yeah, for a long time, apparently. And, and then it fell into Nolan's hands. Yeah, and apparently through Jonathan Nolan, who Spielberg yeah. came to for rewrites, and when he backed off, uh, the Nolans got together. Yeah, he's like, hey, I got a pretty yeah. cool brother. Um, but then Warner Brothers wanted a piece of that pie, so mm -hmm. with a deal, they gave him Friday the 13th in the South Park. And the South, South Park. Park, yeah. And so hopefully we'll see more of those as So well. yeah, it's a joint distribution between Warner Brothers and Paramount. I would love to see Interstellar meets Friday the 13th. Ooh. Maybe they could send Jason to space or, or something. Yeah. That would be really interesting. I'd just, mm -hmm. I would love to see that. Um, Why did you name me after something like that? Uh, Mackenzie Foy, I think, is okay. the actress playing the little girl who was in uh, The Conjuring. Quite liked her in that. Great child actress. And she's struggling to know why she's named Murphy. Uh, apparently, in early versions of the script, that was a boy. Okay, which, that, would, that would make not sense. Not that it improves it that much. You're still going to get picked on. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, Michael Caine doing the Michael Caine dialogue yeah. in trailer. I think he did similar stuff for Transcendence, you know, but if you got to give expository trailer dialogue right. to an actor, make that actor Michael uh -huh. Caine. Um, I would like to I would like him to officiate at my funeral if at all possible. I think so. your timing is uh, wishful, yeah. you know, on his part. Uh, Wow. I'm guessing that, the walls just yeah. separated and a, a rocket was behind yeah, there the whole that, time. That okay. super cool uh, room opens <laughs> right up onto a launch pad. That's fine. Oh, and this is the first moving image that we got mm -hmm. from the teaser where he's crying. And I had Very to moving image. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So the, the music up. for this, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, V for Vendetta. Mm, okay. Uh, and it's it's a great piece of music. Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of that movie. I, I frankly like it more as yeah. a. Uh, it's really cool to see to when soundtracks from other movies wind up in trailers. Yeah. Sometimes to better use. Mm -hmm. All right. So the crew is going down. Yeah. While they're going up. And again, so much of oh, there we go, Jessica Chastain. My personal pet theory: this is McConaughey's young Mackenzie Foy played daughter, but grown up. So this is adult Murphy. So this is adult Murphy. And okay. McConaughey has been gone from Earth yeah. for what twenty years, maybe. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. So okay. you know. But she looks great. You would swear he'd been gone for ten years. <laughs> she really looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, wow, this looks so I mean, big. This part really is just amazing. I mean, it's honestly like you're thinking of like 2001 and yeah. like even sequences from the Tree of Life mm -hmm. at this point, which yeah. is all good things. And it, it, it's very funny how earthbound the the initial news we were getting from this movie uh -huh. was. It was all about, you know, oh, there's not enough corn. And, you know, it, it got some derision on the Internet, I think. But, right. I mean, this is the kind of sequence that, like, this movie's going to be in IMAX. Right. It's it, Apparently it's going to have the most footage shot in IMAX of any uh, straight narrative 
you know, kidding. major theatrical wow. film. So I cannot wait to see something this big. And it, it looks very 2000. And not in 3D at all, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if I'm sure if Nolan has his way, yeah. no 3D, you know, release at least not in this way. country. I mean, the cast well, is really exciting. More sort of vaguely 2001-esque imagery. Yeah. Do you now, think he's going to be having a lot of flashbacks this whole time? Just towards I, I, life on I sort of hope stuff. this is not like a Tree of Life, you know, scattershot narrative type thing. I, I think it'll probably right. be a little more straightforward. But uh, one of the consultants on the film, um, can't recall the name, but he's a, a, a black hole, you know, wormhole theory okay. uh, guy. And uh, apparently quite a few of his uh, sort of non traditional theories uh, have to do with time travel as relates to like gravitational warp and all that so wow. it's very interesting maybe we'll get some kind of star child return or yeah. maybe he's gone for 10,000 years again you know like th this is if if this is the, the movie it looks like it is mm -hmm. it's you know heir to a long tradition of you know big idea sci-fi right like 2001 like contact I mean we can all hope that this is the new inheritor of that mm -hmm. torch. So this is the first official full-length trailer. Mm -hmm. now let me just say, I wish this is all we would see. We yeah. get we get to the takeoff, and the rest is like a complete mystery. Yeah, but I, I doubt very much that any company it, that's yeah. putting the amount of money down. If I know these two studios, they're gonna release lots of clips. I mean, there's gonna be probably four more trailers. Yeah, if if you want to go into this cold, which you know is a great idea, I think. It's gonna be a difficult road the yeah. next couple of months to avoid all the material that's yeah. gonna be coming out around this movie, but might be worth it. So I'll try one way, you try the other. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that's so, it, so they're, they're gone in a flash. Yeah. So Interstellar, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think about this trailer in the comments below. Let us know if you would like to see more promotional material or less. Because I'm Who's thinking- Who's gonna answer less? Who on the internet Hate seeing new things. That, you know? That's a good point. But me, I think of like the Dark Knight Rises mm -hmm. when we saw that stadium set piece, and I couldn't get that image out of my head. And when I saw the movie, I was like, okay, I already know what's going to happen well, here. It takes away from the special okay, right, part of right. being there in the moment. Uh, so if you would like to take on the entire studio system as <laughs> it's evolved to sell tickets and get people to see movies, please let us know in the comments <laughs> below. Uh, if not, we will see you the next time something for Interstellar yeah. or the next giant release comes out. I'm Sam. And I'm JS. Thanks for watching.